And we're live. Welcome to Medical School Companion. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Matt Campbell, uh, who's a decorated war veteran who served overseas as a general medical officer. Um, he received his medical degree from uh, the Eastern Virginia Medical School. Eastern Virginia Medical School. You received your Master's of Anatomy from Medical College of Virginia. And your Master's of Public Health recently from the University of Colorado. Yes. And you just recently completed your residency in Preventive Medicine. Preventive Medicine. Um, Dr. Campbell, you served overseas for more than 10 years and you received a Bronze Star Medal. Um, while treating wounded soldiers at a forward operating base in Iraq. Yes. Um, very interested to, to hear more about your experience with that, as well as speak about medical education in general. Um, right off the top, before we get started, Dr. Campbell, you know, what was your experience in, in medical school? And, and looking back, is there anything you'd do differently uh, if you could do it all over again? Yeah, so I loved medical school. Uh, it was a great experience, life-changing. Um, my best friends in life are all people hmm. that I was uh, students with. Uh, the things I would do differently. So I, I, I would have studied um, more efficiently. Uh, I would have made uh, mnemonic devices for everything that I needed to learn. Uh, it takes more time to work out like functional mnemonics for everything, but uh, in the long term, I think it's worth the, the time investment. Interesting. Um, would you say you're a memorizer? Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to be. So, um, but yeah, I, I rely heavily on mnemonics. Mm -hmm. And now you're interested in getting into medical education. Mm -hmm. um, what are some study techniques that you would recommend to students who are just getting into medical school? So I'm a big fan of digital note cards. Uh, they use the space repetition that's uh, optimal for retention. Uh, and uh, it's a way to study. So anytime you're using note cards, you don't have to keep repeating the things that you already know, which is pretty important. Uh, and the act of recall is crucial because if you're just reviewing information, uh, you can kind of fool yourself into thinking that you know it. So you really have to test yourself. And the best way to do that, I think, is uh, note cards, but in particular, digital note cards. Cool, okay, shifting to your experience in the military, which I'm very interested in. Could you maybe walk me through your experience briefly, kind of over the 10 years, deploying frequently to Iraq and other places in the Middle East, and what that experience was like? Sure, so I was a general medical officer in the Army. I was deployed for 15 months at a, a little FOB, Q West. Uh, that was, uh, it was, uh, it was a, an experience, um, I was really pushed. Uh, I was operating sort of at the, at the level of my uh, comfort zone. And um, yeah, but I was working with a great team, uh, uh, amazing team of uh, Army combat medics uh, and uh, PAs. And it was just, it was a great experience and it was a really a privilege to take care of soldiers. Wow. And where did tropical disease fit into your experience? Uh, so I've always liked tropical medicine. It seems like uh, exotic and exciting, uh, and the, it's just it's you know you're learning about a lot of uh, diseases that you don't run into very often. But uh, it's just so satisfying when you actually uh, are able to identify uh, a, a, a rare disease, you know. Uh, and so uh, after uh, my army time, I did a, a couple years working. Uh, for the Department of State, taking care of the soldiers, uh, the guards at the U.S. embassies in uh, Baghdad and in Kabul. And uh, then I went and studied tropical medicine in Bangkok. So it's, it's really nice to be able to actually see the patients, not just uh, read about it in a textbook. So. And so out of everything you've studied and practiced in medicine, which would be your strong point? Is it anatomy? Is it infectious disease? Public health? Uh, yeah, well, I, I definitely feel stronger in musculoskeletal uh, diagnoses. I, I, I had to do so much hands-on exam. I didn't have any advanced imaging. Uh, most of my practice has been in uh, remote medical clinics. Uh, so yeah, and, and there's a lot of uh, you know sports medicine, orthopedic emergency kind of stuff that goes on in the Army. So yeah, I feel like that's where I have most experience. Very cool. 
Um, as you know, at Medical School Companion, we're very interested in applying technology and kind of developing the platform of medical education in the future, something we call med ed tech. What is it that you think medical schools of the future may look like or how will they be different? Mm-hmm. And how can we better utilize technology in medical education to provide better results with students in their studies and exam taking? Well, so the, the main thing that's going to affect students is inverted classrooms. So inverted classrooms, they do that you know, even in uh, elementary schools now. Uh, in uh, medical education, it's been shown to have uh, you know, uh, students have higher satisfaction, uh, and there are some indications that they learn better. So uh, inverted classroom, uh, basically you're learning the new information uh, at night uh, with video, and then when you're actually in class, you're uh, doing exercises that uh, sort of consolidate that information and uh, working on clinical correlations and uh, working through uh, uh, patient case scenarios. And I think that's a much better way to learn. It's more efficient. Uh, and honestly, it makes class so much more enjoyable. I, I think um, by the time you get through medical school, you've had more PowerPoint than anyone should ever be uh, uh, subjected to. Uh, and so it's, it's really nice just to do something more active. And then uh, one of the benefits, I think, uh, being able to uh, get the new information by video at home, you can pause it when you need to, uh, if there's something that you need to uh, look up so you're not lost in class. Uh, and then also, you know, you can do other things. You know, you can go for a run and listen to a lecture. I think that's a, a lot healthier way to, to, to provide medical education. Awesome. Well, wonderful. Thank you for your time. Um, viewers can find more information from Dr. Campbell on anatomy, immunology, micro, public health. We're, we're building out a curriculum uh, on our website as well as on our YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for your time, Dr. Campbell. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Okay.